I'd like to give you just a quick tour of the student and parent Canvas training course that you can download and then put into uh, your Canvas installation, as well as edit it by adding videos, text, whatever. And so it's a great place to start with some good tutorial videos. Here you can see I'm already in student view. This is just the um, the front page that welcomes students. And you can see that there's a, a simple welcome video for students and parents to watch that tells them a little bit about how the course is set up uh, and, and how they can access it. And then they can choose their grade level. Um, and that's going to take them to an individual module within uh, this course. And so I'm just going to click middle school right there. And you can see that it dropped down to the middle school. But if I were to uh, scroll up, you'd see uh, the elementary and the top and high school at the bottom. Now, uh, most of the resources are the same or similar in each one. Um, but uh, say for elementary, you don't need as many resources, any uh, as many tutorials. And so you can see here that it's set up uh, in, with different text headers that help them to just kind of guide their experience, getting around Canvas, participating in a Canvas course, um, and so on and so forth. And so let's get into uh, Let's choose this one, uh, how to change the language settings, which is a, a, a good one for our bilingual students. Now, most of the uh, pages in this course have uh, one, two, three, or four uh, of these parts. And so not all of them have all the parts, but many of them do. And so it starts with, here's what you can do with just a, a text explanation of what they're able to do. So how to change the language settings, that they're able to change the language settings. A short video, teach them how. Here, everything that the canvas uh, and just walking them through the um, the experience steps to do it themselves and then this last bit which is is really my favorite uh, which is um, a simulation or a simulator and so uh, what the students can do is they can actually click where the red arrows point and that's going to take them through actually practicing this step and then they can do it as many times as they want. And so not all of the lessons have uh, simulations on them, but many of them do. Um, and then there's there's links to more information if they want it. Now, what you can do with these course is that you can uh, use it as is. Like I said, you can make it uh, just a, a course for your students and parents. Uh, we've posted ours as a, a public course so that uh, anybody with the link can see it. And we've just linked to it from our our. Um, district website uh, or um, you could come and you can edit you can add more uh, videos more documents so on and so forth what we encourage our teachers to do is to as they're uh, learning to do a certain thing so for example how to mark a page is done uh, is to actually link to this course page and you can see this is just the video on this one but to actually link to that course page inside of their course and to teach the students how to do it um, and just kind of reinforcing that. So this is the student parent training course. Cheers.